During the early 1900s, Albert Einstein developed his theories regarding special relativity and also theorized that some particle behavior could not be explained by current scientific knowledge. Einstein called this effect spooky action at a distance because it appeared that if any DNA part of a single system was removed from that system to a different location, any action performed on that removed part will also be instantaneously performed on the original system regardless of distance. Decades later, in 1964, John Stuart Bell formulated his famous Bell's Theorem, which showed that our world is indeed non-local, meaning that interactions exist between events that are too far apart in space and too close together in time for the events to be connected even by signals moving at the speed of light. Bell's theorem has been validated many times in recent years, proving the non-locality of our reality. In the 1970s and 1980s, Cleve Baxter, who was a polygraph expert for the CIA, conducted a number of what he called primary perception experiments that validated Einstein's spooky action theory and what current physics is calling quantum entanglement. Baxter's experiment showed that when a leaf was removed from a plant and taken to a separate location hundreds of miles away and cut with a knife, the original plant reacted immediately on a polygraph instrument to the pain or stress of the leaf being cut at the remote location. Until recently, research into the frequency technology of Dr. Royal Raymond Reif and others has been limited by using instruments that must be connected to the subject using 10 pads or electrodes or being in the vicinity of a plasma ray tube emanating RF energy. Japanese researchers validated their version of non-locality, which they call tachyon energy. According to the Japanese scientists, a tachyon particle is a massive hypothetical particle that always moves faster than light. Many spiritual texts throughout history refer to this same particle as an adamantine particle, which is the smallest building block of reality. Even the enlightened Walter Russell wrote that light does not travel, but instead reproduces itself. Most recently, Russian and American researchers demonstrated that frequencies and energy could be broadcast non-locally over thousands of miles using DNA as the transmitter and receiver. In developing the Quantum Entanglement Generator, or QEG, we utilized the best non-local space and zero-point energy research and combined it with leading-edge electronics design capability. When connected to a well-designed, high-quality frequency generator such as the GB4000, the QEG becomes a powerful, experimental, non-local energy transmitting system. To use, connect the QEG to the output jack of the GB4000 using the BNC cable, which is included with the QEG. Then prepare a DNA sample by placing several small fingernail clippings at the center of a 6-inch piece of masking tape, preferably blue in color and definitely not plastic. Fold the tape back onto itself, securing the DNA sample at the center. Gently open the top plate of the QEG and place the tape in the unit so that the nail clippings are in the center of the hexagonal target area. Then gently close the top plate. Turn the GB4000 on and set it to audio mode. Enter a preferred time duration. Enter the frequency desired. And press run. Slowly turn up the GB4000 output level until both red LED lights on the QEG are of equal brightness. That's it. The quantum entanglement generator is designed to generate maximum scalar wave energy in the target area between the top and bottom plates, each of which consists of four layers of precise, geometrically coherent circuit paths producing millions of energetic vortices.